your choice to come back? Yeah. Was it an easy one? Absolutely. I mean, you know, obviously we've we've always talked about uh, you know, the history and uh, you know, I think just in general, you know, you look at the Indians right now, they're in a pennant race, and then you look at the history of my career, I mean, sure, you always you always think about one day returning, and then when you're given the opportunity, you know, it was really a no-brainer. I mean, you know, for me, kind of exciting. So I'm happy to be here. What's this been like for you today, just coming back into a place that, you know, used to be all the yeah. same familiar faces and such? Well, definitely, excuse me, definitely, uh, you know, a little different, you know, as far as, you know, brought, to be honest, brought back a lot of memories, brought back a lot of memories of old times. And you, you see things, the weight room, you see the clubhouse, obviously things have changed in there. And it's, it's very, very fun. I mean, it's good. The guys that I met here today, they seem like they're excited, they're energetic. And uh, hopefully, again, we can get this thing accomplished, what we're trying to do here. And that's, you know, win our division. So... As I said, I'm very happy. I'm happy that the uh, the Indians claimed me, and you know I was able to make this decision for sure. Jim, as far as the crowd reaction goes yeah. tonight, you know you had some mixed reactions yeah. over the years with Minnesota and other teams. But what do you what do you anticipate tonight? The fact that it's going to be a packed house, and you know the, this fan base seems to be very excited about yeah, the return. Yeah, yeah. I I mean I don't think as a player you really ever know what a reaction is going to be. I mean you can always envision it. You can always think about. You know, is it going to be this way? Is it going to be that way? Uh, you know, I mean, and, and I've, to be honest with you, I've gotten good reactions here, uh, you know, when I was opponent. And, and I appreciate that. You do. As a player of an X team, you come in, you appreciate that. So, you know, I don't look at the past. I don't try to go back to that point. I mean, obviously, we've moved ahead. And, uh, you know, I'm happy to be here. I really am. This was some place, this is the place I wanted to be, and I'm excited. Jim, when you left, before you left, you said they'd have to tear this yeah. Indians jersey off my back. I want to finish my career here. And you left for the money yeah. uh, and went to Philadelphia. Looking back on it, do you regret any of that? Do you regret saying what you did that left that impression that you stabbed uh, Indians fans in the back? Well, I think, I think, sure, I think in life you're always going to say things. You may, you may, you may say things that, that ultimately, you know, you look back, I think, when you get older and you go, you know what, maybe those weren't the right choice of words. Uh, I was always kind of envisioned that I was going to remain an Indian, and when it didn't happen, you know, uh, you know again, it's not something that I look back on and say, man, I wish I would have made this decision or that decision. You make your decisions and you move forward. But maybe some choice of words you do regret a little bit. Uh, I think you learn from them as a man. You do make mistakes, I think, in life. And, uh, again, I mean, maybe I was put in this position to, to be here today to say, you know, that, hey, maybe I didn't do the right thing, but I do apologize for that. And, and you move on and you go forward. Jim, I don't know how many days a week you were playing uh, with the Twins. I think it's probably something you'll have to go yeah. by. But how many days a week you feel you, you can play? I'd like to play every day. <laughs> I'd like to play every day. I don't think my body would let it, though. And, and I've talked to Manny about that. We've discussed that. I mean, look, you know, how many days do we have left? I mean, 30, whatever. I mean, the bottom line here is I want to I wanna, I wanna do – come in here and, and try to play as much as I can, but also be very smart about, you know, what I deal with with my lower back. Uh, you know, and, and, and I appreciate Manny, obviously, the first thing that him and I sat down was talked about that, and I think it's just a matter of communication, being communicating, uh, you know, but also knowing that, look, you know, and I've done this in Minnesota. There's times that I've pushed the, the limit, I think, a little bit with my back, and it's been okay. Uh, so, again, I've, I've, I'm here to play, but we'll be smart about it as well, no question. Jim, have you thought about season-wise how much you have left, and would you like to see your career end where you started? I, you know what? I mean, obviously, I'm, I haven't gotten to that point yet, obviously, focus on, focusing in on right now. Uh, I don't look to next year. I don't look to the following year. I mean, you know, 
I mean, as you guys know, I mean, baseball is a weird thing. I mean, I'm here right now to help, you know, to try to fit in with these guys. They've done a tremendous job all year long at what they've done. Uh, and to come in and maybe be a piece that helps, really, that's my focus right now. It's not about next year. It's not about the year after or when I'm going to retire. Or it's, about, it's not about me. It's about, you know, trying to do what's right right now, stay healthy, and hopefully, hopefully we can have some fun here the next month. I, you know, I, I don't think it would embarrass me. I don't think it would embarrass me. I think I would feel proud of the fact that I've been able to play. Tomorrow's going to be my birthday till 41, you know, and I feel very proud of that. I feel, uh, you know, just the fact that I've been able and been blessed to do this for so long. I mean, think about it. You play as a little league kid, and then now I'm going to be 41 years old, and I'm still playing, you know. I mean, it's it's pretty – it's a it's a very special thing, and if if they do come up to me and say that, you know, I'm I'm. It's kind of funny because all around baseball, I've heard people say, "Oh, I was eight years old," or "I was nine years old when I saw you here." But it, it's kind of I guess it's kind of cool in a in a sense, but I also know that you can't play forever, and that's why you know to be given this opportunity to come back to a place that you know, was always very, very special to me. It's just such a thrill. I, I feel like somebody really granted me this gift to, to be able to do this. Jimmy, did you actually think that you would someday come back? I think you envision it. I think you envision it, but you never really know. Baseball is a weird thing. You know, you don't know. You don't really know what's going to happen. And, uh, you know, I've thought a lot about it. I've thought a lot about it. And trust me, there's been many times I've come in here as an opponent and looked up and, and things have came back to me about our teams in the 90s, about all the good times, our fans, you know, how they've treated us as ex-players and, you know, and those, those special times we've had here. So you do, you, know, you do kind of think of that stuff. Didn't you wish you had never left? Uh, I don't have any regrets. I will say that because the places I've been, the, the places I've been have treated me great. You know, I got to go home uh, to Chicago. I got to go to Philadelphia. Philadelphia treated me great. You know, then I got to go to Chicago when mom had passed. And I think that was very instrumental in our family. And just in, in, in a sense, it got to bring me close to my family at home, which brought them a lot of happiness. Uh, you know, my Dodger, my Dodger experience during that playoff run was great. And then, obviously, the Minnesota. The Minnesota people were, were awesome as well. So, you know, I mean, I, I think more than anything, you learn from things. And, and I'm very, very, very glad to be back here now. Jim, can you kind of describe what it was like to drive back into the uh, player parking lot and who greeted you first, who did you see first? As I said, a little, a little different, you know, just because it's been so long. I mean, I, I've came through the parking lot, but not as a home player again. And then coming down through the tunnel and to walk through the clubhouse, and it brought back memories of, you know, Jimmy Warfield. It brought back memories of, obviously, you know, then I saw Sandy, you know. I mean, Sandy you know, is, was and will always be a great teammate. You know, we were roommates. So seeing him really kind of, almost to be honest, ease things a little bit. Uh, and then you see things, like I said, they change. You know, the, the weight rooms change, the, the food room. And then you go, wow, it's a new time. It's a new era. And you have to adapt to the new environment and to the era. So hopefully I can do that and fit into what these guys are doing. They don't have to fit into what I'm doing. I will try to fit into what they're doing and do the best to try to fit into their program. Jim, I know you've been focused on the players, but you have seen the Indians in this room once in a lifetime. You're in the same division. What have you thought about this club from the past? I think pitching, outstanding. You know, facing these guys, Masterson, uh, Carmona, you know, I mean, they got some guys, they got some kids that can, we got some kids that can pitch. I mean, the bottom line, you face them for a series. I mean, you have to, you have to bear down. Uh, and they're everyday players. I mean, they're exciting. They're good young players. 
to be honest, kind of a lot similar to what we had in the 90s. You know, these they're, they're energetic. You can see that playing against them. And, uh, you know, that's what kind of intrigued me also about coming here was the fact that, look, I mean, you roll the dice, you go out, you have a fun September, and anything can happen. I mean, they've obviously put themselves in a position to be here at this point. You know, baseball is a weird thing. Anything can happen. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. I think that drove me anyway, being being so close in the 90s uh, as we were and then not accomplishing the ultimate of winning a World Series. I mean, it always, you know, it'll always drive me. It'll always, I think, you know, push you to try to do it. But it's a fine line because you just don't know if it's going to happen. That's the thing. That's the thing. And when it does or if it does, it would be a very, very special moment. Yeah. A lot of supporters here tonight. There are going to be some, though, that aren't as supportive, detractors. What do you say to, to the fans who maybe aren't happy to see you back because of the way you left? What do you say to them, and why should they buy into you again? Well, I, I, I think, again, as I said, I mean, you know, as I said, I think you make decisions, you live by them. Uh, you know, sometimes you look back, you may have said a few things that weren't right. But you face it, you, you look forward, I mean, you look ahead, you, you, you look in the mirror, and maybe you're given a second chance to say you were sorry. Maybe that's why I'm sitting here, you know, is to say, look, you know, I, I, I may have been put in this situation, uh, but again, I mean, you move forward, and maybe I'm here to do that. So I, I would hope to say maybe we can forget about the past and look to the future, look ahead. And uh, you know, and maybe win a maybe win a division together, and see what happens as we go through October if we're blessed to do that.